everyone. Thank you for coming up to me. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or they have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Another tragedy has happened again in the movie industry. This actor, we can see that a lot of us know him. He's the Tinsel star and a veteran actor, that's Victor Olaitan. Unfortunately, today he has passed away. This is another sad one again. And as we know right now, the funeral mass for late veteran actress Rachel Oniga is happening in Lagos State, Nigeria. And this is another news coming out again. Olaita, who had been bedridden for five years after being involved in a ghastly accident which occurred at the Apple Junction in Festac, Lagos State, Nigeria, while he was driving to a movie set. If you could recall, that accident happened. It was a terrible accident. And ever since then, he had not been himself anymore. It left him in a very bad state. Unfortunately, today he died at the age of 69. His wife, Julia Olighton, confirmed his death, saying she is grateful that he can finally rest after suffering for years. Imagine someone who is bedridden, a, a vibrant, active actor like this, and accident just hits this man and he couldn't just do anything with himself anymore. And the wife, Julia, said that he has tried that it is not easy to be trapped in your own body for five years that he can now finally rest. And before his death, Olighton had been battling for his life in a Turkish hospital for almost three years. It's so sad that he passed away like this. And you could see from the photos you can see up there, see how he used to be when he was actually very vibrant. And after the accident, he just kept on deteriorating gradually, gradually, and he finally gave up his curse today. May the soul of Victor Olighton rest in peace with the Lord. And may Almighty God console his wife, his kids, his entire family, friends, and every other person that knew him. May God console them and may God console the industry because one person or the other is passing away. Another person is being buried. Another is going. What is really happening? Well, I was just talking about the veteran actress, Rachel Oniga. And I said something. I said, you're going for a funeral and trying to sympathize with the families that are laying their loved one to rest. At the back of your mind is who is next or what's happening? Who knows? The next call you would receive to say this person has passed away. And here it is now. Victor Olighton, another actor, has just gone. Friends, have we observed that of late it's kind of getting very common that one actor or actress is living like every week or interval of just two weeks. You would hear that one actor or actress has gone. For the past few weeks, it's just like days, interval of days. Late Rachel Oniga passed away July 30th. And then we had Rich Oganiru who just passed away two days after she passed. That did not end there. We now had the comedian Stanley Okoro who just passed away a few days after Rich Oganiru passed. And here we are having Victor Olaiton going again. No matter how they are passing away or whatever is the cause of death, the fact that they are dying is becoming alarming. It's becoming a thing of pain in the hearts of loved ones, in the hearts of their colleagues, in the heart of the industry. All right, the industry is already mourning people that just passed away days interval. And here again, another actor, a good actor has gone again. All of these actors and actresses that are passing away is also a great loss to the industry. Because these people contribute one way or the other with their talents, with the way they actually present each of their scene. 
These are great people in the industry. And then when they pass away, the industry has lost a great soul. Each person that passed is a great loss, not just to the family, but to the industry as well. They have contributed one way or the other to the growth of the industry. So the more those people are living, the more its effects are on the industry generally. And look at loved ones losing those people Virtually every moment you're hearing one person or the other has left the surface of the earth. How are these families able to contend with this? It's not easy to hear your loved one that you've always been spending time with, you've communicated with several times and all for you to see that this person is no longer in existence. You'll be recounting and recalling moments you've shared together. Both the good times and the bad times, you just keep reliving it over and over again. And it's worse when you don't even have any closure with the person before the person passed away. Some people, they never get to see their family member. All they get to see is just the cops. Maybe you just parted ways with this person. You bid goodbye and oh, till you return back from work or till you return back from your trip. Next, you just get to hear that this person you just spoke with, is no more alive. A lot of people have gone into shock. Some even cardiac arrest because of the bad news of death of their loved ones. It's not an easy thing for you to hear that someone you've known, you've lived with for years is gone. Most especially for couple, maybe the husband or the wife has gone. Then whoever is left behind would find it very hard to live without that person. In some situations we've heard of cases where the husband just died the next thing the wife was okay and healthy you just hear she has passed away she didn't pass away because she really wanted to pass away but leaving the pain of knowing that you don't see this person you spent most of your life with again it's really hard it only takes the grace of god for you to lose your loved one and you're still up and running it's very difficult because this thing death is not like a commodity that we can actually go back to the store to get this item and replace them. Or you could go to the market and buy something similar and replace it. No. Human life lost can never be recovered ever again. It was just during the time that Jesus Christ was on earth that he raised the dead. Then you know that, okay, you could still have your loved one back in your life. But now that such doesn't happen at all once anyone is gone the person is gone gone forever and that is why we should value every moment we would have with each other with your loved ones with your friends value that moment and make it worthwhile these days you don't even know what will happen the next minute death is just sweeping people away you're with someone the next second you're hearing that this person you just spoke with is no more here. The person has gone. It's hard living like this, knowing that life is unpredictable. Situations are unpredictable. Unforeseen circumstances happen that would sweep people away. Unforeseen circumstances that would happen that would take your loved ones away from you. And he was living in pain for his wife to say, it's better he go and rest. That is to tell you the gravity of pain this man was going through. And a man who was strong, energetic, doing things for himself, now confined to the bed, bedridden. Imagine how that can be very devastating, even for the person going through that. And for the family that is taking care of you, will be seeing you go through that pain, but cannot help you. I'm sure that was what made the wife make that statement. She watched her husband go through pain. But she can't help him. She can't take him out of that pain. For her, it's best that he rests than watch him every day for five whole years. That was a very long time. He kept on struggling with his life. Kept on struggling with pains until he finally gave up the ghost. It's not easy for families to watch their loved ones and yet they can't help them. Sometimes some family members tend to put the blames on themselves like... I was the cause of his death or if I was able to help him, he would have survived. But that is not the truth. When 
something has been destined, if God has said this is what will happen, irrespective of the amount of strength or energy you put into that thing, what has been destined would still happen. And so for loved ones, it's normal for people to beat themselves up and push blame on themselves like if I was there or if I had done this, she would have been alive, he would have been alive. But I think they should channel it to the positive energy of the things they had done or contributed to help the person, no matter how little that time was. It's so painful that he has left the surface of the earth. And knowing that he went through pains before he died. Some families are like that too. Some of them when you meet them and sympathize with them. They will tell you that it's better the person rests than living in pains. And yet you see that person but you can't help the person. So I would say it's better he even pass than living and living your life unable to even help yourself. Or unable for your family to even help you. Friends, what do we all think? Yet another actor has passed away. Please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. Once again, may the soul of Victor Olighton rest in peace with the Lord. And may Almighty God console his wife, his kids, his entire family, colleagues and the industry. May God console them all. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.